Of course, the pandemic hit local artists so hard last year. So a new arts event is coming to New Harmony to support those artists. Tony Treadway is one of them, and he's here to tell us about Arts and McClure Parks. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Angie. Uh, arts and McClure, McClure Park kind of came together uh, in a hurry. Uh, there was a group of us who were together in April. It was the first time we had been able to do a show right. together uh, in basically 18 months. Uh, John Locus, who is a photographer from over Edwardsville, Illinois. Uh, Rocky Pardo, who is an artist from over there as well. Her jewelry will be featured. But we brought this idea up and they were like, where's the central location where we can all meet? Right. Well, New Harmony was about the central location. And they said, well, Tony, it's you and make it happen. So we did. So we're having 40 artists uh, into New Harmony at Little McClure Park, right there on Church Street, and going to have this festival on Saturday, July 10th. Uh, everything from pottery, which traditionally there had always been a that's pottery your thing. sale. Yeah. That's your thing, right? <laughs> uh, back in the 80s, uh, the uh, University of Evansville had a ceramic workshop at New Harmony, and they used to have a sale on the second weekend in July. This is, it worked out well, that's the right date. Uh, in fact, Rosemary Chamberlain and I both participated in that over the years. So it's kind of coming back to an old idea and bringing up new and bringing these artists all together. Nadine Saylor, uh, this is going to be her last show with us, uh, the glass artist uh, from over at Carbondale. She is taking a new teaching position up at uh, Nebraska. So she will no longer be able to show with us. So this is kind of going to be a her farewell show Good with us. Good chance to see her for the last time, too. Uh, yeah. It, now, other things are going on that day, luckily, is oh, like we yes. have it in uh, town. So yeah. music and fun. Yes. Uh, New Harmony Music School uh, is doing pop-up concerts all through the day throughout the community. They'll do one around noon uh, there at the bandstand in Clara Park. The Firefly Festival is going on as well. Uh, the Say Firefly, which is the state insect and was initially identified there at New Harmony back during uh, the Owen period. And then uh, the Capers Emporium. Uh, Love Mary Beth, Capers, lots of fun. Mary Beth celebrating her third anniversary of her opening that day as well. And they're having a big event there. Uh, so there's lots to do all through the day in New Harmony. And, uh, you know, uh, what I always say is come stay for the day, stay for the weekend, but you're never going to see it all in one day. So it, it's, it's a good time to come to New Harmony and experience uh, just a real good sampling of everything that goes on in New Harmony. Well, and, and this, the whole city, if you weren't even having an event, the town, the park, the whole community is just a place to absorb. Yeah, it, it, there's a peace and a tranquility really and a creative is. force there that uh, I've never found anywhere else in the world. It's, tr it's so true. And if you haven't been for a while, this is a good reason to go. Great music, great food. And Mary Beth at Capers is the queen of the air fryer. If, oh, yes. if you need to know how to use your air fryer, she's the person to go to. Yes. She convinced me. We no, were in there back in the, in the last year watching her cook. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Tony, so good to see you as always. And it's I look forward to, see to seeing your beautiful work again. Yes, If sir. you haven't had Treadway Pottery, I have a couple of pieces thanks to Tony, and I love them. Thanks again.